Well, here we are at uh, Clumber Park uh, near Worksop in North Nottinghamshire, and we're undercover. And the reason we're undercover is we're going to be sowing some basil, some herb basil, and that's a uh, plant that needs a lot of heat. So, as you can see here in the greenhouses, there are some lovely crop of basils growing. Basils come in all many different varieties. You can get lovely dark leaved forms, um, a much a big, the big green leaved, and you can get sort of multicolored leaves as well. So they come in a, in a range of varieties. And so I'm going to sow some now. Um, obviously, you're sowing them in the sort of depths of winter. You're just going to get a very um, you've got to grow them on a windowsill, a warm windowsill. Um, you always start basil off in the warm anyway, but during the summer you'd probably be able to put some outside, but certainly in the depths of winter it's all going to have to be grown on a windowsill in a warm house, nice and light, as light as you can get it. So here we're going to sow some now. I just want a multi-purpose compost. And literally you just want to fill a little, little pot with the compost. A little bit more here. Level it off, like so. And the seeds are quite big, so they're quite easy to handle. And reasonably thinly. It doesn't matter if you get several plants in a pot because you're just harvesting lots of little tips of the shoots, certainly in winter. In, if you're sowing in the spring, you'd probably want less in a pot because then you just grow them on to a little bit, uh, bit, bit larger. But growing in the depths of winter, you just want kind of a mass of little leaves. It's almost harvesting like microgreens, so you're just taking off the small tips. Because although you've got the heat in the winter, you haven't got the light, so you don't always get very good growth. So once you've sown those... Now, you can use a little bit of compost over the top, but a good top tip for sowing basil is to just top it with a little bit of vermiculite reflects the light holds in the moisture well and keeps a nice clean plant when it grows through sprinkle a little vermiculite on give it a water and then place on a very warm windowsill. Or if you have a propagator, you could put it in there just to start it off and then put it onto a warm windowsill. And as soon as they get large enough, you can just pick off a few leaves for your cooking. 